In the previous video, we discussed what makes for a successful spreadsheet, that everything has to be linked. Well, the other thing, and even more importantly, is that everything has to balance. Assets have to equal liabilities and owner's equity, and cash flows have to be equal. Okay, so those are important aspects to preparation of these financial statements. Now, when the financial statements are just this size, it might be easy to determine that they are out of balance, if they are out of balance. But when they get larger, which they will, it will be difficult to know if they are out of balance without some kind of method of alerting you to it. And I'm going to show you how that works now. It's something called conditional formatting. Okay, so what you're interested in is that assets equal liabilities and owners' equity. What you're interested in is that cash flow in from this statement equals the cash flow in this statement. Okay, so let's see how this works. First of all, we need to put a formula in that will look at the differences between assets and liabilities. So that will be that minus this. So as long as they're equal, they will be zero. The difference will be zero. So let's see what happens if I delete this. Well, then the difference is uh, minus 700,000. And that would be unacceptable. Okay, so we need more than that. There's a way to give us a real alert, something that catches our attention when these are out of balance. Something called conditional formatting. So if we go to our menu and we select conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, go to more rules, and this dialog box opens up. And we want to set the conditions in this area. So we have our cursor in the, in the cell that we want to set conditions for. So you want to say when the cell value does not equal to zero. When the cell value does not equal to zero, that means they're out of balance. Cell value does not equal to zero. And then you want to set a format. So you need something that will alert you, and that something would be a nice bright color, like red. Red is an alert. You say OK. Dialog box is completed. We say OK. And let's see if it works. Delete that. And now we have this red alert that says something is wrong. Okay. Copy this over to this cell. And we'll have the same alert for this cell. Let's see if that works. Okay. So we're out of balance again. And just undo that. Now we want to do the same for our cash flow. So in the same way as we did above, we set up a formula between the indirect cash flow statement and the direct cash flow statement. So that would be equal to that minus that. Right now it's zero. If it wasn't, we have that difference. And again, we want to set up a conditional format. So we go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, more rules, dialog box opens up, our cursor is in the right place. We want to have this format happen at the cell value. Again, is not equal to zero. That's the condition. And we set a format. And maybe we can use a different shade of red so that we'll know it's cash flow that's out of balance. Say OK. Say OK. Let's see if it works. Delete that, and we are now out of balance, and we know that we are out of balance. Okay, and 
and drag that across to make sure that it's for both months, for both, both periods. Now the spreadsheet that you're going to submit to me based on the first video should include this also. So your spreadsheet should look like this template. Okay, it should look exactly like this and have the conditional formatting in it. Okay, that's the complete assignment. All right.